Welcome to a special edition of Chai with Molly, a show where we celebrate diversity the Canadian way. I'm your host and yes, I have been looking so much forward to seeing you. I trust you're having a great summer. So are we. We have a great show in store for you. Stay with us. A Brazilian model who spent 30,000 pounds in order to look like Barbie's boyfriend, Ken, passed away because of a simple health complication called pneumonia. He was only 20 years old. Obviously, he had serious self-esteem issues. And so we have in a studio a very special guest. You know her, she's been here before, Alma Gabriel. She is a social activist and an author. So we're gonna to talk to her about what we need to do in order to get healthy self-esteem. Welcome to our studio, Alma. Thank you for having me, Mari. All right, so uh, before we begin this conversation on self-esteem, mm -hmm. and which is very important, why don't you tell us a little bit about the book that has just been published? Oh, um, my book is called Standing Tall in Echoes of Destiny. Hmm, very it, interesting topic. Yes, it, it, it's, it's basically, it's, um, we all go through life and I believe we do have a destiny and what is important and that we stand tall that's right in all our experiences you know that's so, so that's what the book is about and, and um, the poems they are all motivating poems encouragement you know um, some of them are actually um, it's spiritual so it, it's various type of poem it touched reflective the of life yes the whole yeah Yes. yes. All mm. right. So we're going to have you one day and we're going to have a conversation about your book. Oh, I love that. Yes. yes. Uh, but today I'd like you to share your thoughts on self-esteem. You know, there's so many young men and women, especially teenagers, who mm -hmm. suffer from a terrible sense of uh, self, uh, self-loathing. They don't like themselves. Mm -hmm. And that's why the plastic surgery industry mm -hmm. is doing so well because mm -hmm. people are trying to become something mm -hmm. in order to appear more beautiful and more appealing to others and maybe more popular among mm -hmm. their friends. Uh, what do you think about that? You know, it's, it's a problem of um, contentment. It's a problem of, of, of liking or loving yourself. But, but where, where do, you, do you begin? You know, um, if your mentors or the representation or the leaders and, and all the persons that you look up to, the, the teachers and so on, they're actually, you know, not happy with themselves also. So, so we follow examples. But I believe if, I believe that if you're contented, I believe that's the word. Contentment is the trick. Mm -hmm. that would do it. It doesn't matter what age you are, you know, um, if, if a baby is happy based on how the parent is taking care of the baby and everything like that, you have a happy baby, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so um, positivity comes out. A healthy self-esteem um, has to deal with um, the way you look at yourself, the way you see yourself, the, 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 the way your society um, you know, sees you. Take for instance, even sitting in a classroom and, and basically you're there with the teacher and you feel that you're being ignored, it could affect your self-esteem. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, it, 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 it's very important that um, we do see positive influence around us. I agree with you with the young kids. It, it concerns me, mm -hmm. you know, I've seen so many TV shows, you know, um, take for instance, you have like the Kardashians and so, those, those seem to be the examples. <laughs> exactly, those people are looking up to, to them. To, yeah, so um, basically I think what we need is to have a show that talk about self-esteem and healthy self-esteem. And I believe it goes back to validation. Mm -hmm. Who's validating you, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, because this problem of self, uh, low esteem mm -hmm. is mostly prevalent among young women. 
right they don't like mm -hmm. themselves they i mean mm -hmm. we could look at them and say oh you're gorgeous you're beautiful mm -hmm. but they don't feel beautiful inside mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, there could be multiple reasons for why they feel the way they do um, but uh, i think the root cause of that is that they have not been validated by their dads in their lives yes right many of mm -hmm. them have absentee fathers Mm -hmm. Many of them don't even know who their dads are because, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, we do have some families like that. And mm -hmm. then we have some dads who are, uh, may not be mm -hmm. uh, in a healthy relationship with their children. Mm -hmm. you know, they even could be abusive, mm -hmm. right? And they're not validating mm -hmm. their daughters, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And I know that you have something to say about mm -hmm. that because you're a confident woman and your relationship with your dad has a lot to do with it. Yes, yes. The, the, the thing is, is that uh, as women, or as girls in our growing up, it's very important that we do get validation from our fathers, mm -hmm. you know, or a male figure, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and what father I is remember, the most important yes, male figure. What I remember about my father is that he has always been positive and um, basically he compliment his daughters, you know, he encourages you to really carry yourself in, in, in a dignified way. And um, in, in those days, some fathers did not see it um, necessary for their daughters to enter for competition. But my father approved, you know, going into contest competitions and so. And today I can say, um, because of, of his approval, it has added a lot of self-esteem to my life mm -hmm. you know so um yes you're right when you to say that fathers need to val validate their daughters uh, yes so yes, i think it's really yes. important to have this conversation yes, right yes. Uh, people mm -hmm. look at me many times and they say to me you are a very self-assured very confident uh, strong woman and i I can tell you for a fact yes. that a lot of that has to do with the way mm -hmm. uh, my my father brought me up, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Because he validated me, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. He was he was always uh, uh, never gave us those you know wrong ideas of you know that you you're something that you're not, mm -hmm. but try mm -hmm. to to highlight and cultivate mm -hmm. our talents and validate it. Yes. I think the word yes. is yes. validation. Mm -hmm. And that's why uh, dads are so important. Their role in your life, especially if you're a woman, right, mm -hmm. is so very important. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's why many people, even when they grow up, mm -hmm. they continue with those self Mm -hmm. loathing mm -hmm. images. Mm -hmm. They may look to be beautiful, mm -hmm. like Karen mm -hmm. Carpenter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, one of my yeah. most favorite singers, right? Amazing, amazing woman, you know, very, very talented. And yet she suffered from this, from, yeah. you know, anorexia. And, um, and that ultimately took her life, right? The, 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 yes, I look at, at a lot of young ladies now and I, I, I ask myself, you know, the way sometimes they dress, mm. you know, it's like you, you, you know that you know it's an exhibition mm -hmm. you know so it's like um the low self-esteem you know um because of that they actually think they have to exhibit them their self you know mm -hmm. to get um, the attention to get the attention you know and and like it has to do with um not having a healthy self-esteem mm -hmm. and and the the things that is that by having a healthy healthy self-esteem you actually can hold your own mm. you, you you hold your own because i always believe what's inside comes out mm. so you enter a room and it, it exhibits itself that's right and, and you just have to be yourself you know because if you're not yourself that also comes out comes right out. so um, loud and clear yeah you don't have to um show off your body or anything like that like you know to be, you know, um, healthy and to exhibit a healthy self-esteem because people can actually see yeah. right through people you. People are attracted yes. to strong, self-assured people. Yes, you know, so, so basically is that we underestimate each other. We mm -hmm. actually think that people in a room 
cannot see right through you. Mm -hmm. But they know if you're genuine. They know if you're strong. They know if you're weak. They know your self-esteem. So just be yourself. Mm. And in you know? order to be yourself, you have mm -hmm. to love yourself. Yes. You have to like yourself. Yes. Right? Many times people try to be someone else, mm -hmm. like this young man. Mm -hmm. Right? He was trying to be mm -hmm. uh, not even a person. I mean, mm -hmm. the, you know, Ken is a dog. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, because he didn't like himself. Mm -hmm. Right? And, and he was not happy with who he was. Yeah. Right? So, mm -hmm. uh, you, you touched upon contentment. So, I want to to talk a little bit about uh, that very, very important aspect mm -hmm. of our lives. Mm -hmm. In this day and age, when we are inundated mm -hmm. with so many uh, things that are thrown at us, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. In terms of clothes and things and makeup, how do you become content? Mm -hmm. the, 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 when you are also contented and you know yourself, you also do, you know what you can do. Mm -hmm. You are not going to get involved in something that you're not interested in, mm -hmm. that you know you cannot do, put your best foot forward in doing so. So again, you know, if, if you know you can be a, a model, you will be a model. But if you know you, that's not your um, interest, then you know you're happy for the models. That's you know, right. but you are going to do what you what, what you, are, you really what want you to do. Really want to yeah. do. So, so being a healthy, be having a healthy self esteem helps you to accomplish. You know what you want to accomplish. Right. You so know? what I'm hearing you say mm -hmm. is that know yourself. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. See it, what it is that you want. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And then be content with that mm -hmm. while cultivating mm -hmm. on your strengths to become mm -hmm. the very best that you can be mm -hmm. right because if you if you actually do not know yourself you cannot depend on, on people to encourage you people can give you suggestion but you have to know what you want because in life you're going to have to you're going to meet people who will discourage you mm -hmm. but when you know who you are and what you want and you show off yourself and your self-esteem is high, no one could discourage you. Absolutely. You know, um, it doesn't matter what happens around you, you will just smile and just, you know, Because you on. know what you want. Yes. Right? Yes. So that's really, really wonderful for you to come to our studio one more time and mm -hmm. to share your wisdom with us. Right? So if you are one of those people who is struggling with self-esteem or perhaps you know of someone in your family or maybe among your friends, who is struggling with this issue as well, uh, you can contact us for more information. And always remember, you're unique, you're special. There's no one like you, or nor will there ever be, because you were created uniquely. So yes. always remember that. Thank you once again for being here, Alma. It's a pleasure, Molly.